Want to generate stunning AI images without the hassle of complex installations? In this video, I'll show you how to set up Stable Diffusion locally using the easiest method out there, Stability Matrix. No coding, no command lines, just download, install, and create. Let's dive in. So why choose Stability Matrix? First of all, no coding is required. Perfect for beginners, fast setup, get up and running in minutes. And there's also full data privacy. Everything runs locally on your device. And finally, it has a user-friendly interface, which means there's no need to tinker with scripts or settings. All you need is a PC or a Mac with decent specs and you're good to go. Before we start, here are the basic requirements. You'll need a Windows computer with the either 10 or 11 operating system or Mac OS with an M1, M2 processor preferred, eight gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes recommended, a modern GPU for faster image generation, Nvidia or Apple Silicon recommended. Provided you have all that, go to the official website, visit lightcost.ai. Download the installer, click on download for Windows or download for Mac, depending on your operating system. Run the installer, double click the download file and follow the on-screen instructions. So I've just extracted stability matrix on my Mac and dragged it into the applications folder and launched it. Agree to the terms and conditions and continue. At this point, you can install the UI. There's a couple of different options for you, but you'll notice that at some point during the installation, you'll get a prompt that you'll need to install Git. This is the GitHub repository. To install Git, open up the terminal application by tapping on command and the space bar at the same time. Then type in terminal in the search field and then proceed to open the terminal application. Type in the command dollar sign sudo apt install Git. I'll leave it in the comments box below if you want to copy and paste it in to make it easier. Now, depending on your version of Mac OS, this may or may not work. If like me, it does not proceed to install Git, then you may have to install Homebrew first. Go to the website brew.sh and copy and paste the command in the homepage into the terminal application. It's quite a long phrase, so it's easier to copy and paste it rather than trying to type it out manually. This should initiate the installation of Homebrew. It might take a few minutes. Then once complete, you can try installing Git using the previous command. If it still seems to refuse to install Git, don't worry, now that you have Homebrew, once you go back into Stability Matrix and continue with the installation, you'll find that it installs Git and all of the required components of the Stability Matrix software and should complete the installation. If you're doing this on Windows, it'll be a similar process where you'll be prompted to install Git and there are various applications that will assist with this on Windows. And that's it. You've successfully installed Stable Diffusion locally using Stability Matrix. The simplest way to create AI art without the technical hassle. Now, once you've downloaded the main application and install the files, you can then go on and install additional models. And I'll take you through some of those now just to see just how powerful this software is. Let's take a look. At this point, you should be on the settings page of Stability Matrix. And you want to now go and connect Civit AI, which gives you access to all of the AI models that you can download and install directly into Stability Matrix. Do that, click on the link provided above, connect your civit.com accounts. If you haven't got one, you can create one using GitHub, Google, or Discord. And then in the account section of the civitai.com website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and find the API keys section. Click on add API key, give the API a name. I'll call it stability matrix, save it down and copy the key back into the stability matrix software. Now we're almost ready to go. If you click on the third icon in the left hand menu, that is the packages section. Make sure that you have stable diffusion web UI and comfy UI installed. There are others you can use, but these are the two main ones that we're going to be using in this demonstration. 
then you can click on the models section to download some additional models. And these all come in directly from Hugging Face and you can import as many as you like so that you have plenty of options when it comes to generating your AI images. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go to the website prompthero.com, which is a great resource for getting really detailed prompts that you can use for AI image generation. So let's click on the image of a beautiful geisha in snow, click on copy, and then come back to stability matrix. The fourth icon in the left-hand menu is the UI, and we can paste that directly into the prompt area. Then click on generate image and our image will start to generate. There's a whole bunch of options on the left hand side that you can use to refine the AI image. That will be better left for another tutorial. But just in brief, you'll see that you could change the model at the top, the sampler, the number of steps that will determine the quality, the picture width and height. You can also add steps, high-res fixer and upscaler to improve the quality of the image. So all the options are there in the UI built into Stability Matrix. And if you want even more control, you can open up Comfy UI in the web browser and you can really start to customize the image generation further. But as I said, this is a much more complicated area that might be better left for a second tutorial on the topic. On a final note, if you're wondering where all of your generated images are saved, they're in the shared output folder. And to access them, click on the shared output icon on the left-hand side, find the image that you want, right-click on it, and then paste it onto your desktop to use it outside of the application. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. If you have any questions, or want me to cover specific AI tools in the future videos, let me know and I'll endeavor to produce those videos for you. Thanks for watching.